DIY flower stepping stones the easy way coming right up hi it's Marcy welcome back today's creative video is all about making DIY stepping stones for your garden pathways not just one way but two different ways let's get into my studio and have some fun here is a list of materials you'll need for both projects We're going to spray this really, really well. flowers for the most part are fairly dry and I'm going to quickly go over these with a damp cloth it's just nothing more than a t-shirt with a little water after about four days you're going to want to seal this with a concrete sealer and that will preserve your work of art for years and years to come for you to enjoy in your garden pathway all right let me get the rest of these cleaned up and we'll stay tuned for the big reveal This is the time if you have any rough edges just to take a sanding bar like so and sand them down. These are looking really good so I'm not going to do that. The only part I did sand was the stone part to release some of the concrete from the stone and we are ready to paint my friends. Now you can use Rust-Oleum if you want to use spray paint you can do that. That's Rust-Oleum has a good exterior spray paint interior exterior. And then you can finish it off with a clear gloss or a mat. You can use a Liquitex. This is what I'm using right now is Liquitex. I figured, you know what? This is a good acrylic paint. It's not labeled as outdoor or indoor particularly, but as a professional artist, I've used this for, gosh, probably 30 years now. Probably dating myself, but that's okay. Now, I figured I did a, an entire Rolls-Royce car, a limited edition Rolls-Royce with Liquitex paints and then I clear sealed it with a urethane. So I figured what's good for my limited edition Rolls Royce that I drove around every day is good enough for my stepping stone. I'm gonna show you how to transfer an image onto basically onto anything. You're taking it from your computer or a printout and you're going to lay it right here. But first, the important thing is you're going to take the back of it and you're gonna turn it into its own like self-contained carbon copy. Okay. And lay it right on your, whatever you're doing. In this case, it's our stone. And then you're gonna take a graphite pencil and just go over the line work that you wanna copy. You can do the whole thing. You can trace just a few lines to give you an indication. I'm gonna simplify this butterfly design. Now, before you lift it up, just take a peek to see if it transferred. Look at that. 
Whoa, how amazing, right? I think actually this is completely dry. I can go back in and paint this. I'm going to finish outlining the graphite butterfly transfer with an oil-based Sharpie. And I simply cleaned up the remaining charcoal that was around here with um, just a, a little bit of extra paint that I had. And I'm gonna take this and fill in right here. And this is just a mixture of some orange and yellow together with a little um, water to make it a little bit more liquidier. Ziva and I would like to thank you for joining us. Have an amazing day, right?